What is up YouTube, it's Jason right here. And today I'm gonna show you how to get more performance on your Lenovo Legion Go. So what am I talking about? So there is a leaked version of the Lenovo Legion Go BIOS that enables six gigabytes of VRAM, which is a nice sweet spot that will actually improve our performance on our, on our Lenovo Legion Go and give us more FPS uh, while in games. So this is a beta BIOS. So it, it can be buggy, but from what I've been testing, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty stable and whatnot. I did made a video um, right now that got corrupted, so I'm redoing it all over again for you guys. And you wanna download the beta BIOS. So the beta BIOS, what it's gonna do is actually um, enable us to have six gigabytes of VRAM on our system and it helps us it really helps a lot during um gameplay so this is a really important step of the whole optimization guide like i said this is a beta so i am not responsible um for any damages to your legion go there shouldn't be any youtubers have tested this out i've tested this out myself and it is working flawlessly all right when the official uh, driver when the official bios update does come out i will make sure to give you guys a video on it but right now this is the beta bios and this actually really helps out a lot on our system but what i do recommend you do is actually get your legion go charger we can't have our legion go running out of battery this does this update right here to our bios does take a little bit of time i'm not gonna lie so you want to click on yes these are official well official beta drivers that got leaked uh for the legion go all right so you want to click on next next all right, so make sure to have it plugged in. Your Legion Go will be flickering. Your Legion Go will have a black screen for a little bit, but be patient. Please do not turn it off. Don't do anything, please. So right now it's installing the new BIOS to our system. Like I said, I can't stress that. I cannot stress this enough. Do not disconnect your Legion Go from power. Don't even tap on the power button. It's going to restart itself. It just takes like around 10 to 15 minutes, 20 at the most. So leave your Legion Go alone. Go get a cup of coffee, get some, some cookies, whatever you want to do. But do not touch your Legion Go. Please leave it connected to the power uh, outlet right there. So let us do its thing. All right, so the Legion Go just finished updating its BIOS. So what we're gonna do is actually fully shut off our system so we can change it to the six scale by um, VRAM variant. Right now, let's let everything shut off, shut down anyway. And we'll perform a benchmark as soon as we get this up and running. So we will let our system shut down. So let that do its thing. You'll notice when it's fully shut down, once the light turns off. All right, so the Legion Go has just turned off. So all we're gonna do is actually press on the volume up button and the power button just once, just tap it, but hold down the uh, volume up button. And it's gonna take us to a white screen. And we wanna go to the bio setup. It's only a touch screen um, interface. Then we wanna click on more settings. Then we wanna go to configuration. And we're going to UMA buffer size. So let me just zoom that in. So from our last video, we did put it to four gigabytes. Now we go click on six. Six is the best sweet spot for the Lenovo Legion Go when it comes to performance and gaming. Then we wanna exit. Exit with saving changes. And we'll click on yes. So this is a beta bio. So there might be some issues, but from what my experience, I've, have, I haven't had any, honestly. And where we'll do a benchmark in Call of Duty. On the previous performance video, we did got 83 FPS. So we're looking for a jump on FPS. So let's see that. So once I load up Call of Duty, I'll perform the benchmark right with you guys. So all right, we're back. We're going to load up the benchmark. So we're running the same settings as the previous video. 
and let's see what the six gigabytes of VRAM does to Call of Duty. I know more games can have better performance, but I wanted to stop Call of Duty since that's one of the games that I know that has a built-in benchmark. So it's just for reference. Okay, so, I found this on the web for one of the same settings as the prize video. And let's see what the six gigabyte of VR to Call of Duty. I know more games and their performance, but I want to Call of Duty since that's one of them. Okay, so for some reason, Siri just activated it. So that was crazy. But previous video, we did have 83 FPS. So let's see how um, this one does. Reaching up to 100 FPS. This is pretty much insane. This is insane. I can't. I can't, honestly. I am seeing right there on the corner that we're reaching 105 FPS, 111. This machine is a beast. Final results. Let's see what they are. Come on, Call of Duty. Remember, 83 FPS, previous video. 88, okay. A slight increase is a slight increase. So maybe in other and so maybe in other games there 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 could be an increase. So maybe in Call of Duty it's slightly limited already. So we did get a a nice five FPS increase. 5 FPS is 5 FPS, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.